Okay, hi there and welcome to a microeconomics video where we'll be looking at calculating total profits from diagrams. So in this short video, we'll look at some worked examples of calculating both revenues and profits using diagrams. In exams, you may well be presented with cost and revenue diagrams that you need to interpret and make some calculations. So we'll go through two examples together in this video. Quick reminder on the concept of profit, which is the difference between total revenue and total cost. We normally include an estimate for normal profit, the opportunity cost of capital, in the average cost curve of a firm. So if the firm is breaking even, it's making normal profit. Uh, profits are maximised at an output, at a level of production, when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And at this price and output, marginal profit is zero. So here's our first example. Consider uh, what looks like the cost of revenue curves for a local parcel delivery firm. Average and marginal revenue is downward sloping and the diagram shows their short run marginal and average cost as well. Here's a quick introductory question. At what output level does the delivery firm break even? What do we think here? Well you break even when you cover your costs and it's an output level of 380 deliveries per week, the average cost, the unit cost, equals the average revenue at a price of £120 per unit. Second question, at what output does the delivery firm maximise total revenue? So in this situation, uh, you maximise revenue where the marginal revenue is zero, where the MR curve cuts the x-axis, halfway down the average revenue curve, the demand curve, that's an output of 340 deliveries per week, and the price per unit is £135. Price per unit multiplied by output gives total revenue, which I've calculated to be 45900 But the key question in this video is what output does the firm maximise profit? Well, you achieve that at the intersection between marginal cost and marginal revenue, which gives an output of 280 deliveries per week. That's where MR meets MC and the price charged to maximise profit will be higher. You can charge £160 per delivery using the demand curve at an output of 280 The total profit is the gap between the price per unit, 160 and the estimated unit cost down there, which I haven't put on the y-axis, but I've just you can show the shaded area which shows the, the total profit. Here's a, another example. Uh, maybe have a go at this one yourself. So here's that again, a firm with a downward sloping average and marginal revenue. It's got some pretty familiar looking cost curves. Uh, you're asked to calculate the super normal profit earned by this firm when it aims to maximize its profit. Press the pause button, have a go at this question. So here's the answer. Here's the walkthrough. And uh, while well, the profit maximizing output is uh, 100,000, Units, uh, the output of course x axis is measured in thousands, so that's a hundred thousand units. The price per unit we're going to charge is ten dollars. The unit cost of production, the unit cost of production is seven dollars, so you're making a profit per unit of three dollars. So that shaded area, ten minus seven times a hundred thousand gives you a total profit of three hundred thousand dollars. What would happen if the firm changed its objective? Uh, what would the super normal profit be if the firm aimed to maximise revenue? Have a go at this question. Well, if you aim to maximise revenue, you move a bit further down the demand curve to the point where marginal revenue is zero, which gives an output of 120 uh, price per unit. Well, you can't charge quite as much because you're trying to sell a higher output. The price comes down to $8.50. We're assuming here that the unit cost remains the same at $7, no significant change in unit cost. So now you're making a lower margin, $1.50 or $1.50 per unit, 120,000 uh, units sold. Multiply 120,000 by $1.50, you get a profit of 180,000. Profits lower if you aim to maximise revenue than if you aim to maximise profit. So there we go, two worked examples of calculating total profits from diagrams. 